My hardcore Iron Man doesn't feel risky enough, but that changes today. I'm going to be spending the next two weeks at Revenant to try and hunt for the rare Revenant weapons and also try to make some good GP in the process. Let me show you how I spent 100 hours of game time preparing for Revs. To kick it off, I began a very long Slayer grind of completing 100 Slayer tasks at low combat levels for 300 Slayer points total, all to unlock broader fletching, which is the best fletching method I can access at these low levels. After that, I went to LMS to acquire roughly 1200 LMS points total to unlock a Halo, which is my best in slot head armor, as well as a rune pouch and a lot of rune arrows to sell to the Rogue's Den general store. After hopping and selling these rune arrows for a very long time, I finally got my first green cash deck, which I immediately spent on 168,000 broad bolt tips. Then I cut and fletched 168,000 arrow shafts, and I used all of that to get myself 80 fletching. I was then able to craft myself a magic short bow with that 80 fletching which is going to be our best in slot weapon for some time somewhere in the middle of all that i also got myself a castle wars decorative top since it's going to be my best in slot defensive top for a while after all this grinding i ended up at level 45 combat and i of course made sure to get every combat kill along the way i also had a very close call god I, i'm at the hop worlds god please nobody here please nobody here Oh my god, Kevin! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, what oh my the god. hell? How am I Jesus this unlucky? Christ. If he would have attacked me, I was 100% dead. Towards the end of this grind, my real account's name was actually discovered, so I ended up just switching the account's name back to Agent126. This account currently has a one bill bounty on it, but that's also about to change since in five combat levels, that bounty will increase to two bill. Now that we're entirely caught up to speed, I just got myself 46 combat, and I'll be going for the 46 combat kill soon, but... I am safe spotting these green dragons right now since I need to get myself 45 prayer. If I'm going to be doing revs for the next two weeks, there's no way in hell I'm not going to have overheads while doing it. I've been thinking about this for quite some time now, and I realized that the good PKs aren't really going to come in on this account until I at least get teleblock. But in the meantime, there's so many good items in the wilderness that I want to go for, and that I'm going to be going for, so that's going to be satisfying my craving for risk for a while. Also, I just scouted out this guy, so I'm going to take him out. We gotta KO these dudes. Nice. So, uh, I mean, that feels satisfying getting my first MSB kill, but overall, like, let's not pretend I do not feel much satisfaction from getting these kills. That's why I really want to go for Teleblock. With Teleblock, I can PK just about anyone. Well, like I said, I do need 45 prayer, so uh, I, of course, I'm coming to the most dangerous spot in the wilderness. One of the most dangerous spots, anyway, because there's tons of people my combat level, but... We're not going to worry about that. That's 19. And that's 20 prayer. That's 47 combat. We get another kill and we get the hell out. There is really not going to be any glamour in any of these kills right now, man. But we all knew that. Plus, the only thing that really is glamorous... I'll see you later. The only thing that's really glamorous is I'm doing all of this on a Saturday. And that is the most active day in RuneScape and thus the wilderness. So there's at least something to that. But... Back to the altar. For how risky this place is, it is so nice to have it in the game. That is 44 prayer. That is 50 combat. I already did get my other combat level kills, the 48 and the 49. Now I got to go get the 50 combat kill. Did we really see that going any other way? Again, I'm doing this on a Saturday during peak hours, so I don't know why uh, I'm being stupid, but I am doesn't matter though we're not punished for it because that's major arena done that's a new best in slot cape and staff maybe or not what the are you kidding me the normal staff of air is better than the staff of Zamorak? I also, of course, needed an accumulator. Just in case it comes down to it, I also got myself 65 agility so I can use the easy revenant shortcut. I wanted to get one more prayer level for Mystic Might, just in case I really do need to escape. It helps me that much more. So now I'm going to get some food and then it's time to go to revs. This is the head chef of Falador's Royal Guards and he has a secret. Everyone thinks he went to culinary school and is a master chef, but actually he just cooks you 
using HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious food surprisingly simple, and with such a wide variety of meal options to choose from, everyone will find meals for them that they love. Every meal comes with simple instructions as well as the nutrition information so you know exactly what you're getting. Not only is our head chef saving time by not even having to go to the grocery store, but he's also saving money, since HelloFresh is actually cheaper than grocery shopping. For me personally, the honey butter barbecue chicken is what I'm looking forward to eating most this week, and instead of having to shop for it, it's just getting delivered directly to my door. The nice thing about HelloFresh is that they offer a ton of healthy meals that taste amazing, and they travel directly from the farm to your door in less than seven days, so it's all guaranteed to be fresh. If you haven't actually tried HelloFresh yet, then I seriously cannot recommend them enough. Use my link below or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGFRAMEDOCT16 and get 16 free meals plus free shipping. You can also scan the QR code on screen now with your phone. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Since I'm level 50 combat now, any single person that PKs me is going to be getting a bounty of 2 bill. What I didn't actually tell you guys yet though is that I brought accounts in every single combat bracket out to revs with me so I can attack and kill anybody that comes near me somebody's actually already come dude i'm attacking them on my other account right now look you can just see me auto attacking them and he's gone <laughs> but yeah that is my other account so uh yeah i think i need a safe spot these I, there's a safe spot i'm pretty sure and i'm gonna figure it out but first i need to get a revenant bracelet anyway so maybe i just kill the hobgoblins or the normal goblins rather for a bracelet first there is actually like a peak hair in every single world no way no, he went to attack me. Oh my god. Well, I made the rules very clear. Anyone that tries to attack me dies. Yeah, don't attack me. The first of many PKs this video, I'm sure. You think I KO this level 31? Moment of truth? Dude, I am so weak. There we go. Bracelet of Ethereum. Only took me like a couple hours, but who cares? We finally got our first drop. I finally found the safe spot. Wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna scare you off on this account. I don't even care. Get out of here. Where do you think you're going? Right. My world. Anyway, the fact that there are so many safe spots at revs is kind of insane. I didn't even realize how many there actually were. Like, I never would have thought that you could safe spot the Revenant Hobgoblin. But look, I drag him there. I go here. He stops attacking me. It's as simple as that. It's perfect. At the moment, I'm only committed to this grind for two weeks. But if I don't get anything... Ooh, battle stabs. If I don't get anything in those two weeks, like any of the rev drops, I will probably just keep going until I actually get something at least something by the way i figured out pretty quickly that basically nobody goes to the high risk world so for the rest of this video i'm going to be doing these revs in high risk worlds <gasps> no way dude i got a dragon plate skirt drop <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude i actually right might just keep that i mean uh, unless i obviously get like another like dragon uh plate skirt plate leg drop but like that is either just straight cash or like whenever i'm 60 defense a really good defensive piece of gear Ooh, two rune plates and by that i mean legs wait no way Someone got a Begora's Chain Mace drop, dude. That should have been me. 64 range. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about the fact that I'm gonna gain range levels here. As stupid as that sounds. Like, maybe I'll get like 70 range by the end of this, which would be kind of nice. Oh, oh my god. Those, my heart oh. just dropped. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love my comically oversized logout button. Ooh, Dragon Stones. I mean, these are kind of worthless, but they're kind of a fun drop. You really do not kill many of these. Oh my god. There's a, oh my God, and I got a drop. Okay, I managed to scare him off on my other account, but what I was in the middle of saying was, because I'm safe spotting this, I don't get as many kills an hour, but clearly it is the smartest method to do on the hardcore. I mean, I'm technically risking two bill here. Well, that's another rev strip done. I brought away 32K plus a looting bag, 380K. I mean, obviously I'm a hardcore Iron Man, so a lot of this is just gonna be ALK value, and a lot of this is just GE value, but I'm still stocking up really nicely. I have to fix my clan chat, dude, because not only was I scouted, but this guy joined my clan chat, and now he might know what I'm doing. So, of course, I have to kill him. Yo, wait, wait, listen. Like, no. <laughs> Who do you think you are, bro? You just scout me out. Well, you were at least. Well, that didn't take long, I guess. He might very well know that I'm out here on my hardcore, man. I don't know. I guess time will tell. 
Ooh, dragon dagger. My first dragon drop. Well, okay, that's a lie, but my first dragon weapon drop. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, it's actually day two now of killing these things since I really do not kill them that fast. And once I get scouted enough, some people just keep trying to come back. And even if I do, ooh, rune play bodies, nice. Even if I do end up killing them, well, looks like I have to go back. Uh, even if I do end up killing them, they just keep coming back, and at that point, I just have to log out and try again another day. So, I have a feeling that that's going to keep happening a lot throughout this journey. By the way, I did get 428k from that trip. Oh my god. No way, this guy tried logging in underneath me. Well, anyway, Man. you're dead. Ooh. Yeah, you're gone. Uh, that... Could have been oh i forgot i have loot keys that could have been very very scary not gonna lie oh my god i'm logging in oh oh my god oh oh my god literally the worst same timing guy. in the world what same guy yep bro i just got back on wait i think this is one of the guys that is trying to hunt me down this is one of the guys that's been stalking. Well, if he's gonna keep following me, then I'm just gonna have to peek at him. Oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, so I should have died, but knowing that he risks the Void Waker, I have to kill this guy, bro. Is he going multi? I don't even, dude, if he goes multi, I'm following him. I don't care. Oh my god, I got him. And this is a Void Waker PK. Holy crap. Oh my god. That's why you don't check on what I'm doing over there, brother. <laughs> 220 mil, bro. That is such a beautiful PK, man. Now I can die out here in this gear and just not care. <laughs> we are so close to 450,000 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, then please consider subscribing. You can always unsub later. Thanks. Ooh, two rune kites. I'm also about to gain another range level and in turn another combat level. So I'm about to have to go to get another PK. Oh shit. Oh my God. Loot out of loot. Ooh, rune full helms. Nice. I've not actually been showing every drop, but when I do get a new item on this account, it is kind of exciting to me to be honest. I won't lie. So I do tend to show them. That's 272K from that trip. But more importantly, we have to now go get our 51 combat kill. Okay, another bracelet. Ooh, Onyx Bolt Tips that are going to be worthless for me. That's nice. Dang it, dude. I actually got a drop, too. Please tell me these legs are still there. Yes. Look at that. He's trying to log in underneath me. This guy. Yeah. You're cheating. What does that even mean, brother? Reported for what? Thank you. Trying to log in underneath me to one hit the hardcore, bro. You're getting T-wide. 548k. All right, another trip. Another 400k. Ooh, more room play legs. No way. This guy just logged in like a second after I logged out. Wow. That's right, bro. That is right. Guy's just been coming back nonstop. Have I even killed him? I probably have killed him because I, I know the name. So I'm guessing I've already PK'd him. And if he's going to keep coming back, that's just going to be the same fate every time. Even if he gets in my hardcore Iron Man, I don't think he's that good of a PKer. So it should be a very easy escape. Ooh, two uncut dragon stones. Two full Rooney boys. Hey, there's 66 ranged and 52 combat. Dude, double drop baited me as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I keep getting baited so hard. <laughs> Ooh, Dragon Longsword. That's a solid drop. This guy's been hanging around for a little too long. Anyway, I'm guessing he had nothing. Yeah, obviously. Bro, this guy will not stop coming back. My world now. Bro, obviously he's baiting me to go attack him again, but I'll do it anyway. You're gonna kill my hardcore? So he is hunting me then, man. All right, so he froze me and he ran around a corner. If I had to guess, he's gonna bring another account, but I will roll those dice, I don't care. Yeah. Now I will escape. 
It's easy. It's an easy escape every time. Ooh, finally. It's been a little bit. Well, oh, 420k. That's another inventory done. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I actually got some from these things. Every time I come back into the cave, I normally kill these guys as well as the goblins. And this time I actually got something. Yes, dude. I'm gonna have so many alcohols by the end of this. I love the rune drops. You know, I had a one in 23k drop with the crossbar right here. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine. <Did it> happen? <laughs> no. Oh. I did get a drop though. Dude, you're the goat. Another trip, another 300k. What do you think you're doing, mister? What the hell? What the hell is this? Level 67 coming right for the throat? What did you expect would happen? Why would you go after a guy with magic? This genuinely blows my mind that this guy rushed me. This guy has a cash tag. For sure. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Nah, you're right. Good fight. It was an there. Iron Man? What the hell is your problem? An Iron Man went right for my throat. What, what did he expect would happen? I genuinely have no idea what he expected would happen. Like through and through, what did you possibly think could happen from that? Nothing to gain. Everything Black to lose. To lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was he doing? No way! I got the Amulet of Avarice! No way! Nice. Dude, that is so big! That is like a glory, and that's gonna make these revs so much better. That is so good, dude. That is a 1 in 11,513 drop rate. Now, <laughs> I can permanently be Skulled for that there, which is so good. And this is the same stats as an Amulet of Glory. That is so big that I got that, dude. I'll try PKing this person. I don't have any spec. Oh my god. Oh my god, my first KO! <laughs> my first person KO, like my first actual KO on a person. They had 91k on them. By the way, this is all the loot that this guy actually had. For some reason, when you PK people on a hardcore Iron Man, or rather just an Iron Man in general, you don't actually get the 100k that somebody drops when they die in the cave for some reason. New day? New range level. That is 67 range. We can go one more level before we have to get another combat. And... Oh, okay. Not a terrible drop. I'm still riding on the high of getting this Amulet of Avarice the other day. Yes, dude. Another freaking dragon plate skirt. Making the executive decision to assume he won't attack me. He's potting up. No, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that guy didn't realize that if you attack the other... Oh! <laughs> yep. That was a good decision to attack me, kid. <laughs> yep. If only he knew what he just potentially squandered. I know what I got, though, out of that. 900k this trip. That was a very good trip this time around. Another inventory. Another 450k. I mean, not terrible. That is 59 HP. And that is 53 combat. You can tell me this guy's gonna outlast me. He's level 38. Is that what's happening here? Also, why is he fighting me back? Guy doesn't give a care in the world. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? This guy will not stop coming back here. This is one of those guys where it's like, it doesn't matter how many times I PK him, he will just keep coming back. And this is when I have to just stop for the day because he's hunting me down. Yeah, you're gone. I don't care that he called truce before, man. I'm not buying it. <laughs> he's been coming back nonstop. I mean, look, he risks nothing. Of course he's gonna keep coming back. Like, look. He just keeps coming back, bro. <laughs> like, I am telling you, I just have to log out for the day because these guys will just not stop coming back. Uh, well, like, I guess I'm done for the day because this guy's not going to stop coming back and just dying to me 200k at a time. And uh, well, I, I just, <laughs> I'm not going to give him the chance to kill my hardcore. I'm just not. Oh, sorry. 300k this time. Oh, dude, I actually got a drop too. And he's trying to attack me. I, well, he can't even attack me. I mean, I just don't look at the combat levels. I'm just going to not try to calculate what combat level they are before they attack me. Well, this is another guy that I've been seeing for the past couple days. And you're gone. Oh, nice kill. You smoked that guy, guy. Oh, not bad. Oh, again, he's back, dude. Okay. 
He's dead. Why is this guy coming back? Like, he just keeps coming back. Okay, another 3.6 mil, I guess. And there he is. Ooh, finally, another drop, man. It's been way too long. Dude, I was actually just about to log in, and this guy attacked me. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, dude. This guy logging in right next to me as I'm logging in scared the sh out of me. That's a little 6.8 mil. Oh, hey. 724k. That's, uh, I'm not terrible. It's not a terrible looking inventory. Oh, <gasps> no way. Dude. I got the two mil ancient statuette. No way. Let's go. Dude, that's just solid cash. Nice. Oh, that is 69 ranged right there. And I'm also very close to 60 HP, which that is going to be another combat level. No way! Oh my god! What the <laughs> hell? Dude, this is like 30... This is like 30 after I got the freaking statuette. 60 HP, 54 combat. Oh, I'm taking this guy down. <laughs> I'm taking him down. Please. Please just die. Yes! <laughs> Wait, no! One more hit, please! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh my god, thank you, brother. There we go. I actually just PK'd 18k off of him. Wow, look at that. That guy could destroy me. Dragon Longsword. That's a pretty decent Alk. Finally, another good Alk, man. I haven't really, I mean, well, I was about to say, I haven't really been getting anything, but like, obviously I just got those two big drops, but until then, I've not actually really been getting anything great. Ooh, Rune Plate Body. This is it, dude. The last Revenant Hobgoblin. And that has been two weeks on a hardcore Iron Man at Revenants. And I must say, that was a long two weeks. It was a very, very long two weeks. A very full 14 days. But we profited very, very well from this. This trip, by the way, we actually had nothing crazy. Or in fact, maybe I'm just fundamentally wrong we had 1.15 mil but let me show you the actual tab itself now let me get it all organized first oh hey emblem trader you can take these things anyway i'll see you later let's get the hell out of here so that's just 2.5 mil of just raw cash now as far as the actual drops go this is basically everything that i got so overall i ended up getting about 8.6 mil from the just regular drops here overall the tracker actually says i got about 12.5 mil so i have a way to get a little bit more value out of these breaks bracelet of ethereum so if you just alk a normal bracelet of ethereum you'll get 43k for it but for some reason if you put one eth in that bracelet your alk value will rise by 1.8k so i'm going to be doing that with all my bracelets all right time to load them up all right so i charged every bracelet of ethereum plus i have everything that i want to alk here so i'm going to alk everything and see how much gp we get that is everything alk so now we have 7.5 mil gp on the account plus we technically do have more alks with the battle stabs but i think i'm gonna wait to get my crafting level up since if i put an air orb on it it becomes like probably 2x the amount uh, and high alks doing revs was such a nice boost to the account i mean i basically got a free amulet of glory out of it i got a lot of supplies from it got a lot of alks i got some of my stats up and i got a lot of gp from it we're obviously nowhere near done with the wilderness though i mean we're only level 54 on this account and there is still so much that i can get from the wilderness also just remember if you ever see me in the wilderness try killing me because if you kill me you'll get two bill